Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft single player Let's Play. Uh, there is uh, episode 45 is what episode we're recording. There is a lot of interesting stuff arriving with the next update. Things should get rather interesting from the looks of things. I was checking a few videos out on YouTube. Uh, I'm looking forward to the moss block. I know Il Mango said that uh, that they believe the moss block mo Il Mango had said that they believe the moss block return rates are overpowered. Uh, however, I believe Il Mango forgets that the moss block is an entire block, whereas the majority of the other items which you have been capable of composting consisted of uh, primarily uh, either items or a uh, or a full block such as a pumpkin. Uh, the pumpkins and watermelons are adjusted for their size in the composting uh, process. Therefore, those two specifically get rather large uh, composting boosters, which is why they make such good uh, bone meal farms. If you want a good bone meal farm, you start up a... Uh, a pumpkin farm or a melon farm, fully automatic, and then you, well, you, you're set. That's all you need. Um, so, for him to complain about the rates of the bone mealing uh, process of the moss farm is somewhat self-defeating as the reason the rates are so high is specifically because of the uh, quality of the uh, of the material being used for bone meal. The quality of the material being used for bone meal is relevant to the amount of bone meal being given. If you use a small block of, of material, then you will get a small amount of material. If you're putting in an entire block, then yeah, you're going to get a lot more bone meal. So for those kinds of rates, the 60% and 30% on the moss items, that does make sense considering what you're basically putting in there. Uh, as for things such as maybe the moss carpet being a 30%, that I might understand, however, you also need to realize that just dropping a few of those item percentages is going to drastically alter the rates of your bone meal farm. And if you drop those numbers too much, then there will be no net positive and it will simply ruin the farm. So complaining that the rates are unfair is a bit unwise. <laughs> uh, as Mojang has a tendency to want to uh, drastically alter things uh, when they 
try to correct, they have a tendency to overcorrect. Uh, so people, of course, need to be very careful not to overcorrect. Uh, the farm is fine the way it is. It really is. Um, the majority of the reason why the farm is so overpowered is specifically because of the blocks of moss being put in mixed with the, uh, what is it, the, the moss carpet, I think it was called. Those two in combination cause a lot of the, oh, this is going to be a, a full one-to-one, -one, isn't it? <sighs> Let me see, I'm not checking. Yeah, at least it'll be an even number. Uh, does help if I put the items in the appropriate spots. Uh, am I going to need more torches soon? I might need more torches soon. I don't know if I want to use these as slabs or stairs or full blocks. So I haven't converted them yet. However, I will place the stairs so I at least have inventory space. Because <clears throat> I do not want to run out of inventory space. That would be silly. Oh, I should probably uh, count how many I'm supposed to use. Oops. And try not to place them upside down while I'm at it. Or fall in a pit in the floor. Uh, let's see. So, cross this. That one. Let me correct the orientation of that stair. Okay, so I have 36, and these are, oh, uh, that's going to drive me crazy. These are not even somehow. How do I not have an even number placed? Uh, God, that's going to be annoying. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Yes, I need one more stair just to make it even. Great. Okay, now I'm going to rapidly jump to increase my movement speed because for some reason this increases movement speed. Um, Okay, so did okay now I swear I made oh too hungry to continue jumping need to continue the uh, I'll, I'll just see this is what I mean it'll just place down a block without me even trying to place down a block okay now as I was saying since I have 36 I want to uh, divide the amount I place between the two, uh, I will need to make sure to count out this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven there. Um, so I will place 13 on this side and 13 on that side. Or no.
Well, first I'll place 10 on that side. And then I'll place 10 on this side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now uh so oh it's eighteen both. I really need to install that rail line because that rail line is going to save so much travel time. Uh, now I need some slabs. I'll just make a full stack of slabs. See where that gets me. So much running. <laughs> It's like watching a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> it's just so much running. Mm -hmm. Don't want to fall in the pit. We're walking backwards after all. See, that's why we don't want to fall in the pit. Oh, we didn't fall in the pit. We ran out of road. <laughs> we might need to dig more. Hmm. Well, quite the conundrum. First, torches. So, we have not quite made the full amount of progress to complete this, uh, this build. Why was I using an iron pickaxe this whole time when I had stone pickaxes available? I must have been blind or something. <sighs> so when I run out of uh, the... Can this break redstone? I don't think stone can break redstone. That might have been why. I might have just been mining a lot of redstone and I just didn't want to worry about it. I'll get back to the redstone, don't worry. That is not stone. <laughs> oh, it was stone. Why did it take so long to break that? I was ready to clobber a silverfish. Um, I suppose I can go all the way to zero, sure.
Yeah. I need torches there and torches there. And then another torch there. Pick up all the items. Applause. <laughs> I'd say I do it for the applause, but quite honestly, I do it for the items. <laughs> the items are nice. Because then I can take the items and make things with them. Like that pretty hallway way back there. <laughs> I just realized I'm doing this so that my inventory is not full, and yet my inventory is now full <laughs> because I'm doing this. <laughs> Let me make some polished andesite so that I have inventory space. I do need floor, after all. Not always, but having, having a floor sometimes might help. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, my phone got some lag for some reason. And the ceiling might help too, of course. <laughs> That's why I was building the ceiling, of course, is, is so I could have a ceiling. Um, and I need some stairs. Obviously. Uh, I need a lot of things, don't I? I should stop running back and forth because just running around just makes me hungry. Uh, instead, I should focus on just digging until I run out of inventory space. Um, at which point I might lose a piece of cobblestone or two. I'm not collecting the redstone at the moment simply because I don't have space for redstone. Um, oh, speaking of which. So yeah, I shall return to base, deposit the cobblestone, deposit all the various uh, materials that I've gathered. Um, I'll take the underground route so that if it is nighttime, which it might be, I don't spawn phantoms. I plan to also navigate my way through my base, drill a path down to that mine shaft so that I am capable of should be right here, actually. I, I could put it right there. It'd be the perfect spot for it. Um, this is a terrible idea, but I might just dig straight down right there. <laughs> this is a terrible plan. However... <laughs> That being said, I think it sounds like it might be exactly what I need to do for some lunatic reason. Um, hmm. 
I shall need to consider it. In the meantime, I shall deposit all of these various ores. Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. Full on that one. 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 <laughs> well, at least I know I have enough for a lot of pickaxes. <laughs> Must have misclicked. And now I just boop. Gathers it up real nice and easy. Oh right, I need to deposit this slime. Uh, is there anything else I need to deposit? <laughs> There might be stuff that needs repairs. I kind of like this helmet. Like, a lot. Do I have enough levels to repair it? I think I needed like 14. 16 now? Or was it 18? Yeah, 18. Either way. This way is probably best, because that'll actually refresh all of the repair costs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to repair it. Uh, I don't want to lose my really good helmet, you know? But at the same time, it's my really good helmet. Uh, my pants so far are the only thing not uh, enchanted. However, most of the enchantments that I'm wearing, I could kind of do without. Uh, ah, I did have more of those. Okay, I was wondering where they'd want, uh, where they'd gone and went off to. Um, this never registered. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to, where, where is it? I want to, I want to put that there and I'm going to shoot that bullseye. Technically close enough. It is very difficult to aim this. There. I shot the bullseye. Repeatedly. <laughs> How did you get out? Um, maybe it just spawned in here. I don't know. That was weird.
So yeah, as you can see, uh, with the lava appearing and disappearing right here, uh, and the eggs appearing and disappearing right here, uh, they appear because a chicken will lay an egg up there, and the egg will land on the half slab, which is being uh, checked by the item hopper for items landing on it. Uh, the egg then lands into the hopper. Uh, the hopper just snatches it up, puts it into the dispenser, uh, feeds it into the dispenser, and then the dispenser will dispense the egg out the front, uh, thanks to the observer clock here, which is ticking away. Uh, and then now that the observer clock is done its job, we can, of course, put that away. Uh, I do not need to have a block placed in order for the uh, in order for the dispenser to be set to a lethal setting. Uh, I will actually move the lever into that barrel. Um, if I wanted to, I could set it so that that blade of lava is off. Uh, the method for doing that requires a three position state. I place the lever that fires it once, which will pick up the lava. I turn on the lever that deploys the lava blade again, and then I break the lever. Now, when I place the lever again, the lever will default to the off position. Uh, this means that by placing the lever, the machine is now uh, set to kill, and then I turn the lever off, and now it is off, and then I break the lever, and it is set to kill again. Uh, this is handy to know if you ever have a circuit that needs inverting. You can use such a method to invert your circuit uh, when you're not relying on redstone torches or perhaps when you need to just invert an observer circuit or something. Uh, this is a very useful method. Right. I need to check the hopper down here to see how much we're overflowing in feathers. <laughs> Answer? A lot. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of feathers. Um, right. Character needs sleep, been mining, should definitely mine during the day. Don't mine at night. <laughs> um, what else did I need? I need to pick up the andesite that I have up here as I am working down there. So I shall pick up the polished andesite, which I use for flooring materials. I shall place those andesites there. Uh, I shall place... Actually, I think I'll pick up some of the granite, too. That way I can get started on the uh, next section of the cave. Uh, I just need to get down there first, which, of course... Uh, I want to start digging right now, however, I really should place a lot of these blocks because I'm going to need the inventory space for storage uh, if I hope to actually have uh, enough room. <laughs> if I want enough room for being able to hold everything, I'm going to need... 
guess campfires can't burn items. Or maybe they can. Nope, they can't. Yeah, that's that's the same amount of feathers. Oh well. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to need all the storage space I can get. So I really should uh, go through and make sure that I am... Uh, that I'm doing well on my... Uh, on my current storage situation before I go any further towards uh, towards using the... I wonder, will I be able to feed him a poisonous potato? I will not. Okay. It's handy to keep track of how many of those you get. The item being mostly useless is offset by how rare it is. <laughs> so people tend to get impressed when you tell them that you have a lot of the poisonous potatoes for some reason. And it's like, why would you be impressed with that? It's a useless item. <laughs> uh... Again, it might be used in potions. Okay. Pig? Pig? I, I swear. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> I know. I know. Alright, fine. There. I go away. Really filled up my inventory spaces. <sighs> oh, right. But yeah, people get impressed when you tell them that you have a, a lot of the poisonous potatoes, and it's like, wow, how'd you get so many? It's like, what are you talking about? I had terrible luck. <laughs> I was growing potatoes and I, I just couldn't, I couldn't get enough potatoes. You know? Uh, the great thing about potatoes, of course, being that they grow so, so many potatoes. Uh, you just put them in the composter. You know? Um... Okay, I'm I'm just gonna do it this direction. picked up and yeah uh oops did not intend to do that well looks like I'm harvesting sugarcane for the moment this should go fast be fairly straightforward since I always get exactly one stack of sugarcane. And if I get more, then I did something wrong. <laughs> if I get less, I didn't pick something up. It's a really straightforward process. It really is. 
There we go, one stack of sugar cane. <laughs> Very straightforward process. Now, about that torch I knocked out. There we go. Uh, but yeah, speaking of which, I can go ahead and start composting these potatoes because I just have so many. Um, like, I, I have so much food, I don't even have to go and rush to put myself out. I can just let the fire do its thing. I have regeneration. I have armor. I'm fine. You know, it, it's like that scene in Iron Man where it's like, you know, they, they, people always ask me, Tony, how do you use the bathroom in the Iron Man suit? And the answer is simple. Just like that. <laughs> it's like, wow, thanks, Tony Stark. We didn't need that mental image. You know? But he's got a point, you know? It's, it's a big, stuffy metal suit. How do you use a bathroom in it? Answer, you have to have one built in because... You're not going to get in and out of the armor very easily. Uh, you you got to plan for that kind of thing. Uh, NASA actually plans for that kind of thing uh, on a regular basis for all of their astronauts. So uh, that's something worth noting. Wow. We're doing so well with potatoes that we are technically uh, ahead of the uh, ahead of the composter in how fast we're feeding the, the composter. Keep in mind, we have deposited, like, three stacks of potatoes into that thing. I'm just surprised that even at this slow rate of, uh, of depositing and collecting and harvesting and replanting of everything, we're still actually ahead of the composter, because I am, I am by no means rushing. Okay, yeah, the, the composter caught back up. Let me just deposit that in there. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, you can compost out the poisonous potatoes. Uh, at least I believe you can. It's moderately full. I'll wait till it's not full. Yeah, yeah, you can compost. No? Let me try... Well, let me, let me try it this way. Does that work? Oh, you can't. Okay. So, that's something to plan for. Uh, you need to make sure that when you set this up, you have this uh, set with an item filter. Uh, to make sure that you only grab the items that you want to compost because things such as poisonous potatoes do not compost. Uh, so that's something worth noting. You can't compost poisonous potatoes. Uh, I put these around here somewhere. Oh, I should definitely pick up the cactus. Uh, well, <laughs> carefully, of course. Carefully pick up the cactus. Uh, let's see. Where did I store the slimes? Right, I stored those with the redstone components. Um, ah, that's where I stored those. 
Okay, so that deposited the cactus safely, that deposited the potatoes safely, deposited the poisonous potatoes safely. These birch saplings are all spare. Uh, so I am going to actually make sure that I don't need to run all that way out to the birch forest uh, so soon by simply... Some of these will burn down. <laughs> There is no doubt about that. Some of these will burn down. Uh, however, this is also a bit of an experiment to see uh, how well the, the layout will fare against uh, lava performing fire spread on nearby trees. Uh, as you can see, we want to wait for the birch to actually grow. Um, since these are extra saplings, the alternative use I would have for these would be to simply put them in the composter. Therefore, if everything does burn down, since my base is not made out of any form of combustible material, my base will survive. Uh, my base will be perfectly fine. My farm will be fine. Uh, this zombie will not be fine. Uh, but yeah, my base will be fine. My base is built out of stone and dirt. Uh, my farms are built out of stone and glass. My lighting is mostly submerged as full block pumpkins. Uh, and even then, the torches themselves are non-flammable. You know, which is great for a light block. Hey, Enderman, I'm looking at you. Yeah, now I have your attention. Yeah. Whack. <laughs> Whack. Whack. This is why I built this specific spot, is so that I could uh, fight Enderman easily. It is probably not fair for the Enderman. That being said, every time the Enderman touch me, they're basically trying to kill me. So fairness might be the wrong ideology to use for such a matter. <laughs> uh, considering they're trying to kill me, eh... I know, I know, it looks like they're just trying to hug me, but trust me, they do hurt quite a lot. Uh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, this achievement never registered for me. So let me just, uh... Let me just shoot that point blank. Um... Let me try standing a little bit of ways and actually shooting it. Because I know I've shot a bullseye before. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> I 
think I had it. No. A, that's too far off to the side, and B, that's too low. Did that? That actually did. Yeah, like that's, that's a bullseye. Are you kidding me? I still haven't actually gotten a bullseye. I almost landed in the lava. <laughs> okay, so some of these trees are starting to grow, finally. Uh, that's good. Come on. Line up the shot. There we go. Really? I gotta move forward. Let me try just... Okay, that one grew with a beehive. With bees! <laughs> oh my, so I don't need to go out hunting for a beehive. I can just grow them myself. <laughs> That's a new discovery. Oh, and there's flowers, so they're going to start pollinating the flowers. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. So I'm going to get a bunch of bees this way. Okay. Suddenly starting a tree farm is uh, an entirely different proposition. Uh, I need to deposit the slime for my, uh, my redstone components. Go. I need to go and work on the underground section some more now. Uh, you know what? I know it's a bad idea. I know I'm cont I'm carrying all of this stuff. However, I'm recording. And if nothing uh, murders me along the way, I should arrive there before the video's done. And then I can, you know, I should actually, before going down there, I should grab a bucket of water and I should put it at the top before I go down. That way, as I descend, I will have a method of returning. Uh, I can use the, uh, the lantern there to provide a overhead blockage preventing the uh, preventing the water from drowning me 
then I should be able to simply dig down. This also ensures that the uh, area will be spawn-proofed. Apparently I do not have inventory space for gravel. Or dirt. Now that I'm low on oxygen, I just place that overhead. The flowing water drains out. And I am once again left with... Oh! There's something I can toss. All those extra feathers. I'm carrying those around. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, that's another thing. Uh, all the items are being pushed down with me. So if I really wanted to escape from these feathers, all I'd have to do is just swim up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I should. Yep, here it is. I was I was gonna say I should. No, this is not. This this is not the same place. Um, this is somewhere else entirely. Okay, so let's gather ourselves real quick. Get a nice sense of direction. Figure out where we are. Find out that there's a ravine right next to our base. What the heck? <laughs> this is the river. <laughs> This is where the river flows over. Oh boy. <laughs> That's just a death trap. Okay, don't mine under the river without letting the river go first. Noted. I'm going to have to fill that in. Oh my. Uh, mostly for my own safety. Because I'll be the dumbass that starts digging there and destroys everything <laughs> I'm carrying. Uh, yeah, I would, I would totally be that dumbass. I can see myself doing that. Okay. So I've got that. Uh, what else we got? We got this over here, which leads to iron, first of all. <laughs> Monster spawner. Spider spawner. Bane of arthropods. Go! <laughs> okay, so this is great. I just got a string farm, spider eye farm. This thing is awesome, okay? Oh, diamond horse armor, awesome. I'm still carrying around the crafting table. What the heck? <laughs> Iron horse armor as well, nice. Very nice. A music disc. Yes! Okay, so I'm going to consolidate these two chests. Uh, why did it do that? Uh, so I'm going to consolidate these two chests because some of these items are redundant between the two. And it's not really necessary for them to be redundant between the two. So I'll just go ahead and get it all situated and combined. Not really sorted, but combined. 
Um, I put that there. What if I put it on the other side? No, it still does that. Okay, well. It is what it is. Um, there's a chest. <laughs> there's a chest inside the chest. Have fun. So, this is going to be useful. Uh, there's a spider spawner beneath spawn. Awesome. Uh, that's going to be very handy later on. Uh, that looks like it goes down a ways. And you need to flap off. Gotcha. Annoying little critters. Nibble your necks if you're not careful. I don't know. Something. Uh, so yeah, I need a few more torches, obviously, since I am lighting up a cave network, apparently. Wasn't really expecting to do that, but I kind of knew it was going to happen, simply because it's Minecraft. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, this is normal. Um... For some reason, this formation appears. Uh, 